Hi guys, today I am going to have a reality check at my own paintings and paint along this beautiful portrait. Hello guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. If you are new to this channel, I am an amateur artist and I do paintings mostly acrylic portraits in this channel and share my experiences with the viewers. So if that's your thing, please do subscribe and support the channel so that we all can grow together. Last week, I happened to hear a podcast in which Mr. Vijay Biswal, a famous Indian watercolor and acrylic artist was explaining how he discovered the art in him and became a full-time artist without any formal academic training in art. I am a great fan of him and the fact that he is self-taught inspires all those self-taught amateur artists like me to work harder and achieve the artistic excellence that we all are aiming for. There were a few take home messages in the podcast. One of them was the fact that it's very difficult for an amateur artist to establish himself in the world of art early in his career. That means art cannot meet his financial needs. Van Gogh had Theo and Mr. Biswal had his job in the Indian Railways for that. The major factors that led to his success were his conviction and dedication. That means he knew what he was doing from a very early age. And then he did a lot of hard work. Hard work simply means sketching consistently to improve your lines, painting daily, working on brush strokes and color theory, doing plain air, etc. and is easily understandable. But the real question is, do you really know what you are painting? If somebody asks me, what do you paint? I would say acrylic portraits. Then they ask me, only portraits? Then I would say, still lives and landscapes too. Then they ask me, so what is your style? Now that's a real difficult question for me to answer. Maybe it's because of the lacking academic knowledge and if somebody can help me out here, I would be grateful. In reality, I never even tried to check what my style is and simply said everyone that I do semi-abstract contemporary stuff. That simply didn't mean anything and I was just making something up and nobody ever understood that either. So this week, I decided to really sit down and check for myself what my art really is. I decided to check out all those 20th century art styles so that I can arrive at a conclusion. The one thing that I was sure about to start with is that it's some kind of realism. Realism started in Europe in the early 19th century and was aimed at rejecting romanticism. Artists were fed up with exaggerated emotion and intensified drama and wanted to paint ordinary common people, contemporary life and everyday situations. After that romanticism never gained popularity but now we are seeing a resurgence of romanticism all over the world. The whole of 20th century saw different types of realism arising and gaining popularity. In photorealism, artist tries to copy the photograph as closely as possible with high levels of details and precision. This type of realism is mundane and boring for some people as it totally lacks artistic expression and looks more like a precise mechanical job than art. The realism taught in academy with emphasis on anatomical accuracy, light and shadow and above all composition. Classical realism also is gaining momentum now. Impressionism captures fleeting momentary nature of light and color in a scene and is done with loose brushwork. This type of portraiture prioritizes conveying emotion and mood over exact likeness often using distortions and vivid color to achieve desired effect. There are some other branches of realism called surrealism and materialism which uses dreamlike abstract and imaginative elements and out of the world compositions to create portraits that are realistic in some areas but imaginative in other.
Spontaneous realism involves a combination of abstract art, bold color schemes and apparent brush strokes. Here realism is painted with unrealistic and high contrast colors. After all these, I came to the conclusion that I do contemporary realism with clear inspiration from classical realism and spontaneous realism. Expressionism is a bit low in my paintings. I lately am having an inclination towards contemporary romanticism if that's a thing. But I am not forcing myself and waiting patiently for my artistic journey to take me through that road. Hope you all enjoyed watching the video. If you have reached up to this watching the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the bell icon also to get notified when I drop in a new video. That's all from the video guys. See you all in the next. Till then take care and bye bye.